this is Punito. It's not a very sunny day. It was raining, but now it stopped. Um, I just changed hostel. The other hostel where I'm staying, it's okay, but there are no people. Que calor. This place is so cool because there is absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. I mean, there are things to do, activities in the nearby. There are many natural places, very cool, close to here. But I mean, in the town, there's nothing to do. That. <laughs> I just wonder how it must be living here. Now that I decided to go to the pool. It's the rain season and I'm fine with it. I'm very fine because now it's much cooler and uh, finally I can walk without sweating and this place is amazing. I think I said it already, but I really, really like it. I like it so much that I decided to stay for four extra nights here. I booked a lot of tours for the following like seven, eight days. So basically you have some activities to do every day. one days on the road so far and I don't know let's try to summarize what I learned I've been to lots of amazing places uh, but obviously not of all the places I've been to were amazing not all the time I was super excited okay I haven't been in any very bad situation to be honest but I somehow want to say that when you travel all the emotions are kind of intensified some things are super good, some things are super bad. Sometimes you find a lot of company, you have a lot of fun. Other times you just have to accept being alone. Sometimes you feel like a foreigner, surrounded by crazy local people with whom you cannot talk to. And you just have to accept this. You have to, to go to places and to join new adventures without expectation, knowing that it, they can be really good, they can be really bad. And after three weeks in Brazil, I say that this is a very nice country. It's also quite safe. It's not Europe, obviously. You have to keep your eyes open. You have to keep a low profile. You have to avoid having printed in your front, hey, I'm a stupid rich tourist. Uh, so if you keep these three rules in mind, things are quite safe and then you can enjoy the wonderful landscapes that this country has. And also the wonderful people, friendly, smiling, and nice. And they listen to music all the time. Morning. Today is the 5th of February, so it's the official beginning of Carnival here. And where am I to celebrate it? Obviously, I'm in the middle of nowhere in a little town. That's where I ended up. First tour today was snorkeling in the river. Barra, barra do sudo so. How was it? Well, I'm sorry, I always say the same words, amazing, awesome, but it's not my fault if everything is really beautiful. So it was really beautiful. The water of the river was so crystal clear and was really transparent and you could see everything through it. And this everything was a lot of vegetation and fish, really big fish, like half meter long and colored. And it was so cool because we went there and uh, first we had to row the boat along the river. 
or better, everyone had to row the boat, but me, for some reasons which I didn't bother asking, <laughs> so everyone rode, and then we, we reached a certain point where we just jumped into the water and started floating, following just the stream. And this lasted like one hour, so it was a really well spent one hour. Um, it was really, really cool because we were we were not doing anything, just floating and uh, snorkeling, so looking uh, at the river depth, and it was really relaxing. So many uh, sounds in the little jungle around and the sounds of the underwater world. Yeah, beautiful. This is by far the most boring thing I've been doing. I mean, the cave is amazing, of course, the lake, the color is just wonderful, such a deep blue. But when they say this tour is gonna last one hour and a half, I didn't get they meant you're walking like five minutes and the rest hour and 25 minutes, we're just taking selfies and telling jokes, surrounded by super slow middle-aged couples. Facing one of my biggest challenges, deciding what to cook for lunch and dinner in a place where I cannot find half of the things I would like to buy. This is becoming a kind of daily routine, just the late evening walk. Well, let me <laughs> try to explain why I like staying here. You can walk here safely, there are just dogs, <laughs> chicken <laughs> and people sitting in their balconies or their little houses or even on the street and watching a queue. It's funny because it sounds like a perfectly boring place but instead it's exactly the reason why I love it. <laughs> I work in Volkswagen problem now and uh, I don't know in Brazil also. After my first four years. After my four first woman. Four women. You need to have four wives. After, uh, after my I normally hate washing dishes, but when you're doing that because someone cooked for you, then it's perfect. And this someone is Anna, German girl. I was just passing by and she asked, Laura, do you want some pasta? 
yeah it's like when yesterday joao asked hey laura do you want to join us for some beers or when two days ago marcelo said hey laura I just prepared you a cocktail take it sure <laughs> why not and you know this is happening only because I'm traveling alone, I'm 100% sure of that. Because if I had a travel companion, I would just spend the whole time with him, her. But when you're alone, you had the best opportunities to meet new people and live so many cool experiences. So I will never ever regret coming here alone. This is not my bed. This one either, it's not mine. No. This one? No, of course, this is my bed, the messiest one. Oh my God, oh my God, maybe it's time to put some order a little bit. Yeah, since tomorrow morning I'm leaving, maybe I have to clean up a little, little bit, maybe later, later. Ah, much better, isn't it? Just empty, totally. Um, so totally empty. <clears throat> Anna, say hello.